Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday, or at least I hope it's a happy one for you all. Um, it hasn't been such a happy week for me. Not sad in particular, although I am worried about someone out there, uh, another YouTuber, uh, Marie of Marie's Life Vlogs. She's uh, been in the hospital, and she's not, you know, disclosing, you know, the nature of what it is, and I respect her privacy, but uh, if it, you all could give a prayer out to Marie, that everything's okay, or will be okay. I'd surely appreciate it. This is just, for me, this has not been a good week. Especially when it comes to these YouTube videos. Now, at the beginning of the week, uh, I opened a box from Thomas. And I thought I had taped it. It didn't record. So then I show what was in the box, and then I forget and only show half of it. So it's like the next day I'm, I'm showing half of it, the other half, that is. And I get through that okay, but uh, I think that's the one, or maybe it was the next one. I... um. <laughs> Well, folks, you know, I edit out a lot of the, the sounds and stuff and screw-ups that I make on here before I release the video. Well, I released one the other day that had me burping. <laughs> and it was one that had been building up for a while. So, um, And I thought I had to cut that out, out of there. And uh, no, it, 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 it remains in the video so excuse me for that <laughs> and then uh yesterday I, I my i released what i thought was the video and here it was only like a partly edited one it wasn't even a full video and <laughs> Luckily, I caught that pretty soon and was able to take that down and put up the correct one. So hopefully, knock on wood, you know, everything goes well today with this video. And also for Marie. Oh, my microphone dropped. There he goes again. Well, I guess I should be here shuffling instead of just talking. Now for today's segment, I give you an update on those bulbs I planted. Well, this is on the the paper whites that I had planted. Um, not too. It was it wasn't too long afterwards. But uh, the main set of bulbs I planted on the 19th, and uh, these might have been up to a week later. I, I forget the date I planted those, but uh, but yes, I, I showed those bulbs an update on them and what's going on with them, because I didn't show them in the last update I did on the bulbs. Now things you can look for in the upcoming. Uh, Oh, let's see. Uh, well, weeks, nine days, or Christmas is nine days away. It is. I know. I just found out. I just looked at my clock. Ah. Uh -uh. Anyway, I've got a bunch more videos lined up. Um, to come out, well, I've got to make them first. I'm working on them. 
I'm working on so many at one time. That's another reason I'm probably a little bit screw-brained here. Mentally addled. <laughs> Cranially confused. Memory challenged. Whatever you want to call it. That's me. Okay. I'm cutting this again. I feel good about that cut. That first cut I wasn't feeling. So let's see what the card of the day is. It is. Hmm. And you have today the Eight of Swords. Okay, on the Eight of Swords card here is a woman who is tied up and blindfolded. There are eight swords placed strategically around her in a way that restricts her movement as though she is in some kind of trap or jail. However, it seems as though whoever built the trap was a little lazy or hasty, leaving some open space where she could escape. But because of the blindfold preventing the woman from seeing, she has no way of finding her way out of this trap. The barren land around her might signify a lack of creativity of some sort, while this gray sky in the background can signify despair. Since there she feels that there is no hope of her breaking free of the kind of situation she is bound to. If only she could take the blindfold off, she would see that she could just simply walk out of this situation. Now the general meaning of the, this card is that of a feeling of being trapped and victimized. You may feel powerless because in your mind you may feel that changing the situation might be beyond you. This feeling of helplessness that you have, the feeling that you have no agency in your life, has played a major role in making your situation worse. Surrendering one power to an unknown entity, whether it's fate or God, the government or something else, means that you are giving away your own personal responsibility to effect change. You have willingly relinquished the driver's seat in the journey of your own life, and it isn't going well for you. It is advisable for you to avoid making a decision at this time, since your judgment is likely clouded. The good news is that because these trappings are things we create ourselves, we can also leave them if we put our minds to it. It is simply the matter of taking off the blindfold and seeing beyond the limited perspective that we created for ourselves, to see the possibilities and to recognize that you have your own internal power. Now the love meaning. When this card appears in a love meaning, you may be feeling trapped. Do you feel smothered in a relationship or in a now stale partnership you cannot leave? You may feel as though you have no choices, but this usually isn't the case if you look at the bigger picture. We deny ourselves possibilities when we are too scared of doing the hard work of communicating our boundaries or standing up for ourselves. In order to make changes, you must be the one to take action and control. Freedom doesn't come with passivity. If you're single, this card can also point to being too passive in your love life. You may be unwilling to venture and meet others, hoping that the solution to your romantic life will be a person that can sweep you off your feet. This doesn't yield results. Career-wise, your career isn't quite what you thought it would be, yet because your job is tied up 
to your means of living, you feel that you can't leave right now. You may feel you do not have a backup plan or other positions, jobs, or career paths available to you right now. If you're looking to switch career paths, it may take some education, but this can be difficult without having a steady income. While it may feel like you don't have options, you may just need to think outside the box. Anxiety may make you feel like you have le less options than you actually do. Ask for help. Look over your budget. Turn a hobby into a business. Find a reputable place to get a student loan. There are many options where you don't have to keep suffering. And finally, financially, you may feel like things are closing in on you right now when it comes to your financial situation. Anxiety about the state of your bank account can alter how you perceive the reality of this situation. If you're looking to make more cash, you may have more t tools to do so than you think. Do you have a talent that someone else would pay for? Are you a talented writer? Ask if your local businesses need a writer for their blog. Read tarot cards? Start charging for readings at your local cafe. There are so many ways to better your situation. You'll just need to be a little more creative. Okay, I want to show you all an update on things. These were the paper white narcissist that I uh, potted. Uh, it was the 19th of uh, November, I believe. And uh, this is what they look like now. I don't know what happened to this one. This one got turned upside down. And they've been sitting in a window. And they're getting pretty tall, as you can see. Pretty tall. So I'm going to water them here. A little bit of, a, a little bit of a Christmas cactus broke off and was in the dish. So I'm just going to leave it in there. But uh, yeah, this needs water really bad. So I'm going to go to my water and put it back in the window and uh, see what we get. All right, watered it. Got some water there and watered it and it's back into the window for this one. Now I'm going to give everything else in the refrigerator some water. And we'll check up on them here in just a sec. Okay, I checked on the stuff in the refrigerator and it still has plenty of water. So I'm putting this back in the window and uh, we'll just take it from there. So, there you go. Hope you all have a, a great Thursday. I hope mine goes well, too. <laughs> but, uh, peace. Believe. Have a blessed Thursday. And bye-bye. The cat always has to have the last word. Uh, I, that's what I told him. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Excuse me. All right. Don't harp on it. <laughs>